This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're going to be making port here uh, at Herbie Hancock. Um, the album is called Maiden Voyage, so I had to do that intro. Hot <laughs> cuts. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with another pick uh, from a new picker, a new requester, new supporter. His name is John T. Thank you, John, for your support. I really appreciate it. Like I said, we're going to be listening to Maiden Voyage by Herbie Hancock today. Um, the genre is modal jazz and post bop. <laughs> so I've not heard any of that before. That's new to me. Um, it was presented with the Grammy Hall of Fame Award in 1999. Um, it was recorded on March 17th, 1965. So it is a concept album aimed at creating an oceanic atmosphere. Um, so I'm very excited. It was released in 65, obviously. Uh, it's got five stars across the board, so apparently this is a very famous album and song. So let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out because uh, he does not know what modal jazz or post bop is. So subscribe and help me find out because <laughs> I have no idea. Let's go. Herbie Hancock, Maiden Voyage. Three, two, one, hit it. Definitely has like a marine feel to it, in a way. The piano is doing a lot of the work for that. Damn feeling of that, that's crazy. Thank you. 
I didn't know you could play the trumpet like that. Oh. He's sweeping with the trumpet. Oh my god. Okay, well that's a new one for me. That was incredible. Holy shit. It has like a bluesy jazz feel to it. I don't know if it's just a trumpet or... Bluesy water? That works too. Okay. Herbie Hancock is the guy in the piano. Holy shit, man. He's giving it the aquatic feel, I feel. This nautical talk, and I'm thirsty. It's hot. Damn, the trumpet, dude. They know how to use dynamics so well, like every one of them. That was incredible. That points, like, holy shit, dude. Well, that's another genre in the belt, I guess. Um, is it the trumpet that makes it like that? Like the post, what is it? What, what was it called? Modal jazz and post bop? Because I know the trumpet isn't like, I guess, typical of like a jazz band. I know it can be, but it feels more of like a bluesy sort of jazz. I know there's all kinds of different genres and classifications of jazz. And I am new to this. Uh, <laughs> I'm new to these waters and I'm treading in them very lightly. Let's just say that. So. Uh, if I say stuff that's incorrect, just you can correct me. Just be gentle. You know what I mean? Um, I'm soft. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I love this stuff, though, because, like I said, it definitely had, like, this nautical 
uh, marine feel to it, like it described in the beginning for the Wikipedia page. I definitely got that feeling, especially with that picture, to help kind of like guide your mind where they were going with it in a way. Um, it felt very subdued at points, you know, where you kind of just like lazily kind of floating there. But then there's moments where it felt like a storm was hitting and like that trumpet was going insane. I've never heard what I played trumpet for a year in a band too. And I was younger. I did trombone and trumpet in the same year and uh, definitely liked trumpet better. It was a lot lighter. I was a lazy kid, so I did not want to hold that thing up. The fucking trombone. Um, so Herbie Hancock on piano, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, uh, George Coleman on the tenor sax. Oh my God. That was amazing. The beginning part. Ron Carter on the bass and then Tony Williams on the drums. Like they all contributed to the sound overall so well to make it, you know, give you that special feel, you know, for the concept album or whatever they were going for. Uh, you definitely felt it in every note they played. They were, they had an idea and they executed it really, 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 really well here. Jesus Lee. Um, I don't even know, man. Like I said, I've never heard the trumpet played like that before. The saxophone was just fantastic the way that it came in and out. Um, and then that one section he had where he just went off there kind of towards the beginning. Like they like they all had their moments to shine. Then Herbie on the piano the entire time, I think really contributed to that aquatic feel the most. Um, the piano was very soft and light. It was almost like water feet -like sounding, especially uh, when he added like the hi-hat and the cymbal work there in the end. It, that felt like almost like raindrops, almost like a storm, like a light sort of summer storm without thunder. And then the thunder kind of did hit with the trumpet and stuff. It was very interesting. Um, the music just brought so much stuff to mind, so many mental images. And, you know, I love when music does that when there's no vocals, your mind can just wander wherever it wants to, wherever the music, you know, takes you. Um, cause when there's vocals, the lyrics kind of direct your thinking in a way, even subconsciously, I think. So when it's just like this instrumental, I, I love it. And just, I let my mind go where it goes and we end up here. And, uh, thank you very much for saying that. And that was absolutely fantastic. Um, I've never heard of anybody uh, from this band, which is the same. Maybe Tony Williams. He kind of sounds familiar, uh, but everybody else is new. Um, but I'm totally down for more like this because <laughs> uh, I love just instrumental, especially the jazz stuff, because that wasn't even like jazz fusion. That was more of like just straight up jazz with maybe some uh, like blues in there. But I guess whatever you call it, post modal modal jazz, post bop, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. Genres are stupid, but I guess they do help in classifying things. But yeah, if you guys have any more tracks from them or from this album you think I would like or, you know, should check out, leave them below. I'll definitely do that because that was, wow, that wasn't, I was, I wasn't suspecting that to like hit me as hard as it did, but th that trumpet, man, it really got me because <laughs> I didn't know you could play it like that. That was insane. I don't know if he had like the muter thing on it, you know, and just went off or, or what, I don't know, but that was great. Thank you for saying that. And hold on, let me get, make sure I had your name right again. John T. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, John. You rock, brother. Um, I think that is it on me, guys. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed that. Uh, and, I, you know, we love our jazz on this channel. It's a whole new thing for me. So I'm trying like my best to learn along, you know, as I go. Um, and this just adds to my uh, overall musical vocabulary. And uh, I feel <laughs> like a better man after listening to it. I feel smart. I feel like sophisticated and classy right now which I'm really not. <laughs> so uh, it's nice to imagine, you know what I mean? Maybe one day, but um, I can just imagine just those folks that have made it in life, you know, just kicking back with a glass of wine, their nice, you know, den or something, and they have surround sound, just listening to stuff like this and living their life. <laughs> Maybe one day <laughs> as I look around my fucking attic. Oh, God damn, man. Well, hey, um, I'm in a way better spot than I was uh six months ago you to say the least so i'm grateful for what i have i'm grateful for you guys and um thank you for going on this journey with me i know the wa the waters can get a little stormy and the seas can get rough but you guys have stuck by me and i really appreciate it thank you very much um seriously thank you thank you for watching if y'all didn't know we have a patreon right there if you'd like to pick a song or join our little club uh there is a <laughs> join the 15 dollar tier or up you get one free request a month there's other tiers as well if you would like to join for other more requests and such and albums. Um, if you just want to watch all the block content and all the behind the scenes and exclusive stuff, you can join any of the tiers. Um, got hours of hours and hours of albums and stuff on there. Albums. I cannot talk tonight. Uh, we got like some Jethro Tull. Uh, we got tons of Beatles albums on there. So 
probably like 21 King Crimson tracks because they all get blocked on YouTube, motherfuckers. Um, so they're all on there. There's all kinds of stuff. We have a great community over there. Uh, we're almost at 400 folks, I think. And we also have a Discord server, too, if you want to come chat and hang out. Um, we'd love to have you, seriously. And uh, there's a PayPal link in the description as well for tips, requests, and anything else. That is how John sent his request in, and that is probably the most direct and easy way to get it done. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a wonderful night.